Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna talk about Nashville. So I went to Nashville on a conference and you'll see in this video, it was about a year ago. And you'll see that I was wearing a mask throughout a lot of it. That was, those were just the rules back then. So that's what we had to do. Now going to these conferences is one of my favorite things to do, especially if I get to speak at these conferences. So I got to go and one of my favorite parts of this travel is actually getting there. You're not gonna have a problem. Most people are annoyed by layovers. I don't mind them because I get to go to a new city and explore and if there's enough time, I get to go out into the city. Most of the time you don't, it's just a, an hour or two and you get to see what kind of trouble you can make inside of the airport, but I don't mind it. This has got to be one of the nice, oh my God, look at the view. <gasps> yes. Oh, there's gonna be some time lapses shot out this window this weekend. This has got to be one of the nicer rooms I've stayed in. Check this out, I've got a couch and a desk. That's very exciting. Day one of the conference is underway. We've got a few goals for today. One is we have to go set up the booth. I feel like I might be a little overdressed for that, but Number two is they said, since we're in Nashville, they want us to lean into the cowboy thing, so we have to go find a Stetson. So before the conference starts in four hours, we need to go find a cowboy hat. So we're gonna get going. for the wrong conference. Here we go. Okay, so as it turns out, our booth is lost. It's currently in Memphis and not in Nashville, which is a bummer. So we have to track it down. Luckily, we've got about four hours to do that. So we're going to breakfast and I don't need to wear a suit to breakfast. So I'm gonna get changed, go get something to eat. You know, I've never tried one of these, but I've always wanted to use one of those electric rentable scooters. I see a bunch of them right now. I only have to go one block for coffees, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> We've got the coffee, so maybe maybe we walk back without the scooter. Hopefully I got here. we will be here today, but <clears throat> it's still in Memphis. Today, do you know what time? 
I'm not sure now if uh, it just says bye today. You know, I realized when I was editing this, I never actually said whether or not the booth showed up. It did. It showed up that night. So we didn't have it for the first day, but for the other two days, we did have it. It was there. So it showed up. Everything was fine. So we're at a conference here in Nashville. And when I was checking in, the girl at the front desk was telling me that just nearby is where everybody comes when they come on vacation to Nashville. It's called Broadway Street, and there's all these bright lights and all that stuff. But what she said is that there's bars, there's clubs, and there's honky-tonks. Now, I thought that honky-tonk was a type of person, so I asked her, what is a honky-tonk? And she said, you just have to go and see it. So we went out to lunch today, and I found one. So after I found my sweet cowboy hat, which is, oh, you can't see it, it's up here, up here. I had to go back to the conference, and the rest of the conference was great. Now usually, on trips like this, I don't have a ton of time to explore. But today I've got about an hour, and the Country Music Hall of Fame is right downstairs. It's in this building. So, might as well take advantage. Now, I'm not a huge fan of country music, but we're talking about the greats here. So, let's go check it out. Can't forget the hat if you're going to the Country Music Hall of Fame. Got it? Okay. <laughs> And museum. And this is what happens when you don't plan ahead. The museum closed at five, and it's five now. So we're gonna go down to the river and see what's down there. Okay. because after we have to go to the airport and fly home. So we need to be packed before we go today. And what else is new? We're running late. Okay, this is take two on the Country Music Hall of Fame. Because come on, I'm right here. I might as well go in. Let's try it. don't allow big cameras like this, I don't think, up in the museum. You can check in with Lindsay whenever you go pick up your audio guide, but like sure. you won't be able to record anything for sure. Okay. Can I, I got the tickets, but they won't let me bring this giant camera inside, which I understand. They don't want people to like it, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this thing. So that was my first time in Nashville. Now I didn't get to explore too much of the city, but it was still a lot of fun and I got to see a lot of the nightlife. There was one night where I just went out. I, I knew we, we had a bunch of stuff to do for the conference, but I just wanted to go and see what everybody saw in Nashville. And it was great. And Nashville did not disappoint. Thanks for watching everybody. Last week we mentioned my cousin Kevin, but instead of making fun of him this week, I think we're gonna try and steal his formula a little bit, which is taking a super topical 80s reference and then loosely tying that to a successful advertising campaign. So let's see if we can try this out. Do you guys remember when Billy Zapka from The Karate Kid wore Docker's flat front khakis? It's pretty cool, right? All right, if you like these videos, hit the thumbs up, or if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.